In this video, I will show you how to use Cast Magic. I will go over all of its features, I will tell you who this tool is for, how you can use it, and if it is worth it for you. So you can get a 7 day free trial using the link down in the description and that will take you to this page right here. So here it says it helps you turn conversations into content like magic. So first let's quickly take a look at use cases. So it can help you with coaching and you can see exactly what it does right here. It can help you with customer discovery, with meetings, sales calls and podcasts and YouTube. Now the use cases that are most interesting to me are the podcasts where it helps you turn your podcast into an email, blog post, social media post and more and the YouTube tool where it helps you find clips, hooks and quotes from your YouTube videos in seconds. So if you want to turn your long form YouTube into short form then this tool is perfect for you because it helps you find the exact clips that may be interesting to turn into short form content. So simply click on the link down in the description and then click on try cast magic for free. Now here as you can see you can get a 7 day free trial. Now here they have 3 different plans, so they have hobby, starter and rising star. You can also see the yearly options where you get 40% off on a monthly basis. Now I'm just going to start with a monthly plan and select the hobby plan at $39 per month where you can process 300 minutes per month of content. So I'll select this plan. Now if you want to have a better understanding of what exactly is included in each of these plans, then you can just head over to the pricing section right here and then you can see it in more detail. So after selecting your plan, click on start 7 day free trial. Now here you will be taken to a Stripe checkout page where you can simply pay with your card, US bank account or cash app. Simply fill in your information and click on start trial. So you will only be billed after the 7 day free trial. Now here you can also select to save this amount of money with annual billing if you do want to bill annually. So then after filling in your payment details and starting your 7 day free trial you will be taken right here where you can give a name for your workspace. So for example if you are using it for your podcast you can just give it the name of your podcast. Then choose your language right here. So I'll select English and click continue. Now here you want to select a content profile. So choose your starting selection of AI content that they will generate for you. In Cast Magic, you will be able to edit your content profile however you'd like. So this is not final and you can always change this. So you can click on any of the options right here and in the bottom right here you will see what you get. Now you can still change this after clicking on continue with whatever you pick. Now for example if I select podcast which I think is the most popular option, what you can see you will get titles, keywords, speaker bios, introduction, a time stamped overview, you will get questions, key topics and a few more different features right here. Now you can see what's included in each of these tools. Now I'm just going to select podcast and click continue with podcast. Now the fourth and final step is to go ahead and upload your own audio or video. Now this is for if you have the file on your device, you can also import from YouTube for example, and that is what I will do. Now for this example, I will just upload this podcast by Andrew Huberman and click submit. So while it's uploading, you can read some customer reviews right here. So this is a 2 hour podcast and it took about 10 minutes to upload. So now you can simply click on save recording right here. So now you want to click on continue to the app. Now here you will see the podcast and it's set to processing right now. Now here you will be in the interface. Now what you will see right here is your media library and then your spaces right here. So this is the space I'm currently in and under the space you have your recordings, pages, speakers and your settings. Now you can also create multiple spaces by clicking on new space right here. I'm just going to wait for this podcast to fully upload and then I'll show you exactly what you can then do using Cast Magic IO. So it's completely done right now. As you can see, it says completed right here. So now you can click on it. And first you will see the transcription right here. So this is the entire transcription of the nearly three hour podcast. So this alone is a very helpful tool since it also separates each of the speakers. So you can see speaker A says this and speaker B says this, etc. So this is also very helpful. So this is just the transcript that it has done. So now first, before we can go to the AI content, you want to click on speakers right here. You want to match your speakers. So when you click to match the speaker, you can add the speaker name right here. For example, this one is called Huberman. Now you can select the role. So this is the host. And now you can click create new speaker. 
So now here it will say Huberman says this right here and then the guest in this podcast is called Dr. Cal Newport. So then I'm also going to assign the speaker to Dr. Cal Newport right here. And this is a guest so I'm going to select the guest for this and then click create new speaker. So now you will see exactly who says what. So this is all said by Huberman. Then here you can see Dr. Cal Newport says this etc. So now we can move on to the AI content section right here. So now it will be generating your content, so that's your titles, keywords, speaker bios, introduction, the timestamped overview, the questions, key topics and bullets, the and the clip finder, so that's quotes, hooks and timestamps. Now you also see this right here, which is also very helpful. So let's just go through each of these sections. Right here it comes up with a list of titles. So for example, Dr. Cal Newport on Mastering Focus Productivity and the Deep Work Revolution, which would be a great title for a podcast. So they create 10 titles for you. You can also click modify, make it longer, shorter, casual, whatever you want. Now next up, you will see the keywords right here. So you can simply add this to your podcast. If you upload it on YouTube, for example, you can add it to the tag section or in the description, whatever you want. So this will also save you a bunch of time. Now next up you have the speaker bios. So this is basically a quick introduction of the guests and what they have accomplished. Next up you've got the introduction right here. Now as you can see for me it says welcome back to MySpace because MySpace is called MySpace but you want to give this the name of your podcast or your YouTube channel. So if you have already recorded your podcast and you still need an introduction then here you have a great introduction that you can put at the beginning of your podcast. This is also what Andrew Huberman always does. First he gives a couple minutes of introduction and that is recorded later than the actual podcast. So that is what this section right here is for. Now next up you have the timestamped overview which I think is a really great tool because when you add this to your podcast either on YouTube or Spotify or wherever when people search for something like this such as neurological explanation for reading and brainstorming connections the chances of them finding your podcast is higher and it also just helps the viewer see what they are interested in and what is still coming up etc so I definitely do recommend adding in these sections now here you have some questions that will be answered inside of this podcast. For example, in this podcast they answer how does frequent task switching impact our cognitive function and what strategies can we use to reduce this effect and enhance focus. So you can use this however you like and there's a bunch of stuff that you can actually do with this. You can promote it on your Instagram for example by putting in one of these questions or whatever you want to do. Now here you have some key topics and bullets. So these are the main topics that will be talked about inside of the podcast. So you can see this is a section deep work and communication patterns and then there are four bullet points for this specific section. Now one of the most interesting features in my opinion is the clip finder. So it will show a clip that can be repurposed into a shorter form content and they also show exactly when this is being set. So as you can see this is about a 20 second clip and you can really easily now repurpose this into short form content and create it into reels, shorts and TikToks. So this is a really awesome feature in my opinion. Now here they will also give you a real script. So for example, welcome to your podcast where today we dive into the deep work of your guest, etc. So you can create a reel out of this to also further promote your podcast. Now if you want to copy any of these, you can simply click copy content right here and then it will be copied and again you can modify any one of these. Now you can also create a LinkedIn post automatically and I think this tool is just great to actually promote and grow your podcast and you can also use it for your YouTube channel or for sales meetings and there it has very different features but these features are great for every single use case that it showed before. Now you also have a tweet thread and threads by Instagram. So that's just the AI content here, which I think is definitely worth the price, which is only $30 per month. And I think this will greatly increase the reach of your podcast if you use all of the features that it has. Now you also have a magic chat right here. So for example, you can do the lessons learned from the podcast, the key themes, you can create a blog post out of it, or three fun facts, etc. Now one of the features I think is best is the blog post. So let's just click 600 word blog post. You can also create a 1000 word blog post or do whatever you want. I'm going to click on blog post right here. And now using the context from the recording, they will write a comprehensive 600 word blog post expanding on the topics discussed. So now after waiting about 10 minutes, you can see it has created a full blog post 
about this podcast and you can simply now start a blog promoting your podcast simply by using this tool so you can just read this this is actually a good blog post now the final feature inside of this specific tool for the podcast is the studio right here and here you can create visual assets right from your transcript without leaving cast magic so if you want to use this simply click get started here now from the clip studio you can click quote card and this is what you will generate now so this is a quote card now you can choose an aspect ratio I'll just do one by one you can select the color you want it to be you can select the text color the alignment position etc now here you can choose which text you want it to be and now you have created this card now this is not one of the most impressive features of cast magic but it can save you some time just to do it inside of cast magic if you want to use that feature but the main features that i like are the transcript and the ai content because this tool really helps you with your podcast creating the timestamps and the questions and the short forms and the key topics etc so you can really easily repurpose your content and it also just helps you improve the seo of your podcast by giving you the timestamps right here now in this video i went into the podcast specifically but you can also use it for youtube sales meetings and a bunch more stuff that i just showed you earlier in this video so again if you want to try out cast magic for free for seven days you can use the link down in the description and i think it's a great tool if you want to expand your podcast or youtube channel or use it for one of the other use cases shown before so that's how to use cast magic if this cast magic tutorial was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel with that being said i will see you in the next video